Hello everyone and welcome to the Scuffed Kitchen. Today we are making a special burger recipe, the Big Kahuna Burger. Inspired by the cult classic movie Pulp Fiction. Big Kahuna Burger, that's that Hawaiian burger joint. To make it even more Hawaiian, I opted for one slightly controversial ingredient, pineapple deal with it. Well, today's ingredients are 250 grams minced beef, some seasoning, I chose cayenne pepper, paprika, salt, black pepper, garlic and onion, 25 mils of liquid smoke, 17 mils of teriyaki sauce, 75 mils ketchup, 50 mils spicy mustard, 35 grams brown sugar, one tomato, one onion, one cornichon, one or two lettuce leaves, two slices of gouda, 30 grams butter and one pineapple slice. As well as big burger buns, but I forgot to film them. The first step is to prepare the meat. Add all the spices and mix it with your hands. Try not to knead it like a dough, but rather keep it somewhat loose. Then add the liquid smoke and mix well. Once you're done, divide the beef into two parts and press them flat down. You can use a burger press, but I'm just using a bit of wax paper. We are making smashed patties here, so make them flat. Set them aside on a plate. Next, I'll put the teriyaki sauce on the outside of the patty. Then I let them sit while I prepare the other ingredients, like some kind of marinade. Try to keep the time below 30 minutes. At this point I should also mention that this recipe can be found on my website. There's a ton of more and additional info and you can follow along on your own time. Check out scuffedkitchen.com. It's free and the link is in the description. Thank you. It's time to prepare the vegetables. Finally dice the cornichon and set it aside. Then cut some slim tomato slices and set them aside as well. Lastly, peel the onion and cut off some nice rings. We don't need all of it. The next step is to prepare the sauce, which is rather simple. Just add the ketchup, the mustard and brown sugar over medium heat and then stir them until the sugar has dissolved. Set aside. With all the preparations done, it's time to cook. Heat up a generous amount of oil and half of the butter in a pan over medium-high heat. Add the onion rings and let them fry until they become slightly translucent. Pull them out and set them aside. Next, put the buns in with the inside facing to the bottom of the pan to soak up the oniony buttery oil. Let them crisp up until nice and brown. And as you can see, I almost went too far here, but we barely made it. Now, oil the pan up again and put the patties in. As you can see, it will splatter a lot. So make sure you're prepared for that. Add the remaining butter on top and let them cook. In the meantime, prepare the assembly of the burger. Add one lettuce leaf to the bottom as a barrier between the fat and the sauces, so the bottom bun doesn't become soggy later. Put some sauce on top, followed by the cornichon, spread out the onion rings, and we'll put on the rest later, together with the meat. Carefully flip the patties and be ready for more splashback, as the water and oil will definitely not mix. Put on the cheese and put on the lid. The burgers are done once the cheese has melted. 
Put one patty on the burger and add the tomato slices. Add a bit more sauce, then the second patty. Finally, top everything up with the pineapple and a bit more of the sauce as glue to keep the top in place. And with that, it's done! All that's left for me to do is to cut the burger apart to show you the cross section. And here we go. A juicy, indulgent, slightly sweet hunk of a burger. You can see that the meat is cooked through, as is the norm for smash burgers. The outside is crispy, but everything still oozes with juices. This is a tasty burger. I agree. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.